today we are going to be doing a bunch of stuff, but first of all, I want to check on Nefeli Lu and see if we can give her the Stormhawk King or if we need to do anything else, if she need, still needs to think. Ah, you. Please. It's pathetic, I know. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, mother, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. Okay. And I can no longer trust him, Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Classic. Is he simply lying to me? Yes. No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. Okay. Can I give you the... I can't give you the fucking... Why? Now? Why? Why can't I give her the fucking... Okay, well... That was an interesting beginning to the episode, right? Very, very captivating, I'm sure. Anyway, today we are doing Carrier Manor. Uh, by which I mean we are beginning Rani's quest, which, uh, yeah, involves us uh, going through Carrier Manor. So let's do that. This should be an interesting episode. We're going to meet a bunch of characters. We're going to fight uh, one boss, I think. Um, but yeah, it still should be fun. It's, it's going to be one of those in-between episodes where we don't go through a legacy dungeon. Although we're, it's going to be a while until we go through another legacy dungeon. Where is the location in this place? The location in this place. What the fuck am I saying? The sort of the underground area. Every every single location that has ruins in the name uh, has one of these underground uh, locations. Or underground areas. Uh, I don't know. I'm about to stop caring. Okay. Uh, is it over there? I think it's over there. We've been here. It's not here. No, not here. Okay, I... Uh, I stopped caring. It's fine. It's uh, probably nothing good. And if it is, well, we can... We can go without it anyway. Let us rest at the bonfire. The grace. Let's uh, let's actually rest so uh, so we lose aggro. Very good. And let's talk to this guy. His name is E.G. But I'll let him tell you that. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What brings you here? A lot of talking in this one. Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. Alright, cool. Uh, so, now, let's see what we can purchase from him. Yeah, you can purchase um, somber stones from him up to four, so that's a really easy way of, uh, of leveling up uh, the Bloodhound Fang, for example, because you can just buy them uh, outright, so that's cool. We can strengthen our armaments, although we can't do that. Please take care. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. 
Okay. Talk. Grave tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Karian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rea Lucaria Academy turned on the Karians... Okay, that's a lot of fucking lore. They carried on to the manor. Karians were taken. I conjure that is why unless... What you I'm trying to do is tell him that Blight sent me. Actually did that. Did he? Yes. A rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. I'm special. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. He did. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. Hmm. And yeah, he now sells you the Carrion Filigreed Crest, which lowers FP consumed by skills. So if you have a really good Ash of War, uh, that you like to spam, then uh, this might be the talisman for you. We're gonna buy it just just to have it, obviously. Might as well, as they say. And let's just go to, to Carrier Manor. You need to be careful, because there's gonna be some bullshit. But uh, yeah, you just uh, go in a zigzag, and it's uh, it's fine. It doesn't do that much damage, and you know, the Sight of Grace is, uh, is right there. It's all good. Can I just face tank one of these? Yeah, it's, it's just... There's no point actually dodging it. Okay, well that's good to know. I never tried uh, just face tanking it uh, until now. So that's good to know for future playthroughs that I can just fucking go forward and not uh, care. Okay, cool. So, carry a manor. It's one of these uh, weird in-between locations that's not quite uh, a legacy dungeon, but it's not as, you know, simple or simplistic as a, you know, random cave or whatever. But it's still, you know, it's just a, a place to run through. Like, we're gonna run through this, okay? And what you're gonna see is pretty much what there is to carry a manor. Like, there's a lot of empty space, a lot of green space, which I suppose makes sense for a manor, right, to have a lot of uh, green space and unused space, but still, it's just, yeah, this is what it is, this is what Carrier Manor is, it's just a bunch of nothing, really, and there's no interesting enemies, it's just those uh, hands, which are very annoying to fight, so we're not doing that, although they are, um, they are very weak to fire, so we, I could be using my torch, I guess, or I could just run past them. They're actually quite good to kill because they drop somber smithing stones, I'm pretty sure. But I have no need for such. Okay, so let's do a mini guide. Let's do a mini guide because I, uh, I looked this up myself. So others might look it up. How to get the Sword of Night and Flame. So from the manor lower level... You just, uh, you just run through here. Just go. It's fine. And then you wanna gonna, you're gonna wanna do a left. You wanna take a left. Very good. And then you're gonna wanna take a right. This is extremely complicated. Anyway, and you're gonna wanna jump down there in that, uh, on that tower right here. Great. And then, guess what? You're gonna wanna jump again. But uh, be careful so as to not jump all the way down, and then just go, uh, just go down. Down the ladder we go, and we have this: the Sword of Might and Flame. This is a really, really, really cool-looking sword. Uh, where is it? It's here. I can't. I don't have the stats to wield it. But, uh, yeah, it looks really fucking cool. I think it's my favorite looking uh, sword in the game. Apart from that Zweihander, obviously. Um, but, yeah, it, it's it's really cool because it has two sort of Ashes of War. I, I can't show them, but what is the Comet Azure? And the other one is this sort of AoE uh, kind of a flame thing. It's really cool because it has, you know, a really, really strong single target. Uh, Ash of War, and it also has a really strong, uh, ow, a really strong uh, AOE Ash of War, 
But yeah, that's how you get it. It does take a lot of stats. It takes uh, 24 intelligence and 24 faith. And some strength and dexterity. I don't even know what or how much. 12 and 12. Yeah, 12, uh, 12 strength, 12 dex, 24 intelligence and 24 faith. So that's a lot. But you can, you can get those stats uh, from the Grail kill. So if you do that at the beginning of the game, you can give yourself these stats. And uh, and you're gonna be good to to use the the sword of night and flame, and then you can just run all the way here because you don't have to fight any bosses to get here, and you obviously don't have to fight any bosses to get the the weapon, the sword. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's a really good way of uh, of beginning a playthrough. I have done that many a time until uh, I discovered the the magic, the power. Of the Zweihander. Anyway, we just need to avoid these guys. This, this is definitely a place you run through. Because there's nothing here. Like, the Sword of Night and Flame is is the loot in this, uh, in this place. And that's about it. Not much else. There's random items all over the floor and whatever. But you gotta fight the hands to get them. And you... They're not good. They're not, you know, amazing items that are, you know, gonna uh, change your life or anything like that. So, yeah. Not worth it. Anyway. We are fast approaching the boss. But first, we must get the golden seed. We're also gonna kill the wolf. Might as well kill the wolf, right? Huh? huh? No. Okay, that's... That wolf has a lot of health. 2,000 health. Okay, so we're not gonna fight the other one. We are... Uh, well... If... Okay, sure. Let's fight the other one. Huh? Come on, man. I don't wanna fucking die to a wolf. Thank you. Thank you, I said thank you. Good. Alright, thin beast bones. Totally not worth it. Uh, do I go through here? Yeah, so you, you can just go forward. But as you can see, there's going to be some resistance. Uh, you have three mages and, uh, and a giant. So you can just not do that. And jump over here. And go and be sneaky. Be sneaky sneaky. And you're going to be good. You don't have to fight those guys. You just have to fight this uh, this shit guy. Not a problem. A Roa fruit. Not interested in any of that. Very good. Very good. And yeah, now you're uh, you're sort of above them, and they leave you alone, which is great. You just have one more guy to fight. Just this guy. Ha ha! Very good. He dies in two hits. So that's. Uh... Oh, there's another guy. Do not fight me. Do not aggress me. Because I shall retaliate. And you shall die. Anyway, is there something over here? I've never noticed this. I mean, there is obviously something. But is is there something? Actually? There's a bunch of stuff. There's a... Uh, you know what? I don't care. Let's just fight the boss. Let us just fight the boss. I'm sure whatever is down there is completely irrelevant. Let us fight the boss. Hello, boss. Royal Knight Loretta. Let us fight. No. Huzzah! Very good. That was some damage. Let me do this as well. Good. This is actually a really fun uh, fight, I think. Huh? Can I do this? Oh shit, yeah. Huh? Okay. I was uh, out of stamina, unfortunately. Okay, that was a uh, that was a uh, waste of an Estus, but that's fine. We can do damage, and uh, and that's good. Okay, so that's that's cool. What else can we do? Can I do this? I can, but not successfully. Huh? Come on, man. 
I just want to kill you. How, why, why are you prolonging the inevitable? I say... Alright, cool. Well, not Loretta is dead. And we got Loretta's great bow. And her Ash of War, Loretta Slash. We can't... Can't use either of those things, but... Um, we might use the bow if we if I decide to respec into a mage, because uh, that that uh, spell is actually pretty good, because you can just snipe uh, guys ar uh, across the map. So that's cool. Uh, I have thirteen thousand. Can I level up? Uh, I need eighteen thousand to level up, so that's not great. Let me see if I can do this. Probably waste. Oh, no, it's not a waste. Actually, it is a waste. I was gonna use the Remembrance of Renala, but I want... Ah, fuck it. I can just uh, duplicate. I can just duplicate her ash of her uh, Remembrance and get the, the stuff that I'm looking for. Anyway, uh, level up. I have one level up. Great. Uh, strength, I guess. Sure. Let's get to 30 strength. Almost, almost another level up. Uh, 18,700. And we have 17,000 whatever, 400. Alright. And we have reached the three sisters. The three sisters are three towers. Which uh, we will be going into all of them. This one is Rena's Rise, I'm pretty sure. Yes, and it's uh, currently locked, but... Uh, we will unlock it, don't you worry. And then the second one is Rani's Rise, and is the most important one. Because, uh, yeah, that's that's where Rani is, obviously. So uh, that's where we begin Rani's questline. The annoying thing is that there's a dragon over there, which I'm pretty sure uh, the dragon's name is Adula. So, uh, yeah, we, we sort of need to go around it at all times, because it's... Quite a difficult uh, enemy to fight. It's a literal boss, so yeah. Pretty difficult, but anyway. Let's rest at the site of Grace. And go up and talk to Rani. Look how fancy we are. We are the fanciest Vihander wielder ever. Alright. Where art thou, Rani? Over here. Very good. Oh. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No particular Who reason. In particular, thou claimest. Yes. Intriguing. Hmm. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Quite. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? Not really, because I don't know what it means, but I sure. See. I'm in. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer. I'm special. But I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Cool. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I'm sure the others will be doing just the same. Oh. Okay, so let's go talk to those guys. So yeah, you see, it's all coming together. We met Blythe long ago. 
and uh, now he, we are going to be reunited with him. We just met E.G. and apparently he's relevant. And Selavis is a piece of shit and uh, not worth it, but, you know, we have to talk to him as well. Hello, E.G. So you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am E.G., the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Cool. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me. My fellow, let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let us. Alright. So that's done. He's pretty useless, but uh, he's a cool character nonetheless. Hello, Blythe. Hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe. If you've forgotten. Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't. Don't keep me waiting. Okay, cool. And let's talk to Stelavis as well. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. Suck my dick. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? All right, cool. So he can suck my dick. That's that's for sure. Oh yeah, and now I forgot. After you talk to these guys, you can't actually leave uh, until you go back to uh, and talk to Rani. So let's do that. It's cool that you can ride the torrent uh, around in this tower, because it's uh, technically outside, it's not considered an uh, interior location. So that's that. Hello again, Ronnie. Where are you? There you are. Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. Is that it? I shall soon end and it will be I have high look forward. Cool, okay, so she just gave me a job and then went to sleep. That's cool. I don't mind that at all. What makes you think I mind that? What makes you think I'm bothered by that? Anyway, uh, do we go? Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just go and uh, and talk to Selavis as well, because he's. I don't think he's completely important to uh, Nefeli's quest, but he's part of Nefeli's quest, and maybe talking to him will trigger the other part. Of, uh, of the quest, and maybe we we will be able to give the Stormhawk King to, to Nefeli. Or maybe I fucked it up already. Who knows? I do do not know. Hello, fuckface. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Provincials. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. 
I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Yay. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings and soon. Alright, so we're definitely not gonna be doing that. We're gonna not give Nefeli his potion. Because this guy is a piece of shit, so uh, we're not gonna help him in any way, shape, or form. We're just gonna use him for our own purposes, which is what he's trying to do anyway, so that's fair, I suppose. A memory stone. Very good, very good. Okay, so now, uh, what do we do now? Let's, let's go to the round table hold and uh, do the potion part. I talked to Gideon about the potion, and maybe, just maybe, that will trigger the the next step in Nefeli's quest. Hello, well, fuckface. I see you found another great room. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Lando, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. Alright, you like talking, dude, but I don't like talking is to you. Ocean, what I think it is, bloody Salavis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But... I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, so you Good. you need to give him the potion. Dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salinus, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. Cool. Okay. That's cool, I suppose. Let's rest. A lot of talking in this uh, in this one, but not by me. So I don't know how well this will do as a, as a, as entertainment. But oh well, we shall see. It's obviously good on, on my voice, but uh, not sure how cool it is to watch. We'll see when I upload it. Hello, Nefeli. No. no, how could I say the father has all now? Uh, do I not have that? Did I just dream of, of getting the sort of the Stormhawk King? Is that it? No, it's the Stormhawk King. Okay, who knows? Maybe we okay, need to so do something been... else. Maybe we need to... Alright, well, fuck it. Uh, let me try something else. Let me... Let me quit out and uh, and reload and maybe that will... Uh, will progress the quest. And if not, well, we're just gonna... Mind our own business until... Uh, until we f think of something else to do. I don't know what. I'm gonna have to look it up, but... I can't, uh, obviously I can't do that right now. No. How could I say father has now? Okay, so, alright. We can't give her the Stormhawk King yet. I don't know what I have to do next. Let's go and talk to Stelavis and, uh, and tell him and lie to him. Let's go lie to Stelavis. And then uh, we're probably gonna end this, because, uh... Yeah, it's uh, it feels like it's about to end, so that's uh, that's something to consider. And then, uh, you know, the next uh, step of this is to go down uh, with Blight to to Nokron, well, to Shifra River and uh, and all that. So uh, and you know, begin the underground section. So that's best left for uh, for its own episode or its own sort of series of episodes. I wouldn't want to. Uh, begin it right now at the end of this episode, right? So, 
you know, we need some structure, we need something to make sense. Hello, you piece of shit. Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Yes, totally. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. Mm, well. Suck my dick. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Selavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. All right. But you wish to begin right this moment? Yes. Well. Your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. What a piece of shit. Oh yeah, so he sells a bunch of spells. None of them are... Well, they're kind of good actually, but not in PvE. So yeah, they're good in PvP, but I don't care about that. Uh, I'm not going to give him the scroll. Or do I, Can I give him... I, I'm not going to give him the scroll. About Nefeli. So you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Yes. Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. Oh. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. All right, that's that was useless. All right, so you can go fuck yourself now. What uh, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna go fuck ourselves as well? Uh, so basically, what what the game plan is now is we need to go to this location and uh, and go down to Shifra River and begin all of that uh, with the underground, and then we're gonna do Radon and sort of Kalid, uh, and then sort of continue the underground with uh, with all of that. So that's. That's for next time. That's a whole thing, right? Like it's it's a second fucking map, right? So uh, certainly not not the time for it now. But um, you know, let me let me fast travel over here. Might as well do that, and uh, I can end the episode there. All right. So this is obviously this is the end of the episode. Uh, not much happened. I mean, there was a lot of talking, right? It's we progressed a lot of quests we we did stuff we accomplished i should say a bunch of stuff but it it just feels like nothing actually happened but you know it, it this is a prelude this is a preparation for the action that will begin in the next episode this is a sort of a, a a filler episode if you will with a cliffhanger at the end and then next episode that's when the good shit will uh, will start happening so uh you know if you wish uh uh you know, look forward to that, but uh, I'm, I can't, obviously, I can't make you do it. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I can only hope you've enjoyed this episode. I thank you for watching it. I wish you a great day ahead of you and a goodbye.